So when it comes to shooting good photos and videos outside, there can be a lot of challenges, including harsh light, different shadows. And so in this video, we're gonna be breaking down seven tips that'll help your footage not look like this and look better just like this. Coming up. This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. If you've ever been in need of a quick video clip for B-roll or an After Effects template to level up a YouTube video, Storyblocks has everything all in one place. Over the last couple years, I've been using Storyblocks for my freelance projects, for creative videos at my church, as well as my YouTube content. Personally, I love it because you can download unlimited HD and 4K video clips, motion backgrounds, and After Effects templates that are perfect for creating YouTube intros and outros. Everything is 100% royalty free, so you can use it all without any hassles, and they are uploading new content all the time. Get studio quality stock video clips for a fraction of the price. Just click the link in the description to learn more. Hey, what's up, Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And I'm super pumped because today, we're gonna be talking about tips for shooting outside, and I've got Nolan Molt helping me. Super pumped to be here, let's dive into the tips. Tip number one is avoid direct sunlight. So right now I'm out here with the Canon M50. If I was gonna shoot some YouTube videos myself, I've got the screen flip to selfie, I've got on face tracking, so I can just walk over here and get into the scene. But the problem is the sun is coming right at me, causing me to squint as I look at it and casting shadows over this entire area. Now, to be honest, we are already shooting at Magic Hour, which we'll talk about in a little bit, and there is a little bit of haze, which is actually making it not terrible, but normal Normally, when it's full on sunlight, especially in the middle of the day, it's gonna cause harsh shadows and a lot of unflattering footage. So if you can, avoid direct sunlight for your videos and your photos to have a much nicer image. So when I'm out here in the direct sunlight, not only is it causing me to squint, but also so much brightness has our aperture at like 11 or 13, which means we don't have that sweet, depth of field. Now later we're gonna talk about some accessories to solve that problem, but again, avoid direct sunlight if you want better images. So for tip number two, we wanna look for open shade. So we still wanna be out in the daylight like this, but we are gonna go for some place where the sun is not directly hitting us, so let's go. Okay, so now we still are in a great lighting situation, but what's cool is now it's all open shade and I like to think about the full distance of the shot. Like if the sun is hitting the background back there, that'll all be blown out. But if the entire shot is kind of in some shade, then you get the nice uh, vibe across the entire shot. I'm also able to go to a lower aperture, 7.1 for this shot. So it's gonna look a little bit better overall. I'm not gonna have to squint as we do the shoot. But then even later, we're gonna talk about how to get that depth of field with an accessory. Okay, so now we're catching a little bit of light off the sun, but we stepped into shade created by the building. It's a nice image now. No harsh shadows in my face or in my eyes or anything. So when possible, jump into the open shade to get better videos, better photos, and it's also easier for your subject to communicate because there's not sun shining in their eyes. Tip number three is to find an interesting background. So Sean and I, we actually walked around a little bit and we looked for this spot. So don't always just go for the first background that you see. Another great tip is to look for depth in your shot. So right here, we're not up against the wall. We got a lot going on. There's some green, there's a little bit of red. And so find an interesting background with a lot of depth. Something you can do as well is look for symmetry and colors to go into your shots in the background because people will be watching you, but the background's gonna be there the entire time. Ultimately, you want to experiment, maybe walk around, get creative and find the best background for your shot. Tip number four is of course magic hour. If you're ever gonna shoot outside, magic hour is when the sun is rising or the sun is setting. And so that's actually right now. The sun is still out, but like it's kind of behind some haze. So we get this nice light across the board and that sun is also casting some pinks, some color on the buildings. And at the same time too, the lights turn on. So not only do you have the sun still out, but setting, but you also have like the home lights, the residential lights, the street lights. And so the combination of lighting happening at that sunset time is magic. And so 
definitely take advantage of doing photography and video shoots during Magic Hour for awesome results. So what I love about shooting at Magic Hour is the fact that the lighting is so flattering. I don't have to squint my eyes. Everything has nice color to it. It's not any kind of harsh shadows or anything casted. And a lot of times you can get some very sweet colors some very dynamic lighting and interesting lighting even with the street lights and things that are turning on during this time of day. And other shots and other B-roll opportunities are also exciting and that's what we like about this because we love that we can overshoot, shoot a lot of footage and things like that. Tip number five is to find a spot with low background noise. And so this applies to us with video because half of video is audio. For the photographers, this doesn't necessarily apply, but for video, we want to find a spot that doesn't have distractions. So we chose a place without construction, without a lot of airplanes flying by. There's not people coming by. So make sure you find a spot with low distractions and low background noise. Tip number six, is take advantage of cloudy and overcast days. Now, here in LA, the sun is setting, but this is essentially an overcast vibe, which is nice, because you're not gonna have really harsh shadows anywhere. It's like everywhere is shady, basically. And to be honest, this is probably the best lighting of this entire shoot. In fact, tell us in the comments if you think this shot looks great. I think right now we're getting all of the different lights inside of this building showing up. It's that golden hour, so all of these lights have turned on on the pathways, but we still have enough light for this shoot to work. There's some pinks in the skies and a little bit of a color cast coming this way. So again, take advantage of that magic hour. Take advantage of overcast days because it's not gonna put any kind of harsh uh, you know, shadows in your eyes. I think this shot looks pretty amazing. And Nolan, what do you do if you don't have those sunny colors when it's a cloudy day? Yeah, so if everything looks blue, looks a little bit cool because you're shooting outside on a cloudy day, but you want those summer vibes, you want the warm tones, what you can do is go into your video editing software and most editing softwares have a color temperature tool. What you need to do is increase the temperature and that is gonna make your footage look like this and make it more warm like this. And so that helps give you the summer vibes even on those cloudy days. And for tip number seven, we have a few accessories that we wanna recommend for your outdoor shoots, including number one, an ND filter. Now an ND filter is kinda of like sunglasses for your camera. And when you're shooting out in harsh sunlight, typically you have to make your aperture much lower so that you can keep the right motion in video. An ND filter allows you to have depth of field and bokeh that's kinda of like this. And so this nice blurry background, all these cool lights, that's because there's not very much light out. But if it was super sunny, we would need an ND filter to keep everything right. And so actually, if you want to see an entire video about that, just click or tap the YouTube card and we'll link to it in the description as well to learn more about ND filters. Next up is an LED light like this. Now, this is actually super helpful as it's becoming nighttime, but even in the sun, it's sometimes nice having a light like this because it can get that sparkle in the eye. And so any kind of a fill light is really great. So consider this, this is a Neewer light and any of the accessories we'll link up in the description below if you want to check those out. And then of course, the final accessory is your typical studio reflector dish. Now, a light like this is great because you can even see up there, it reflects light. So this is a great way to fill light up into someone's face, make sure you get the light casting in their eyes and redirecting the sunlight or even light in the shade because sometimes in the shade, you'll still get some kind of darkness in the eyes, which is really important. If you're taking photos, you want the eyes to pop for thumbnails or for your photography, whatever it is. And so this is a must have tool for every photographer and video creators uh, kit. And so we'll link to this in the description below if you wanna check it out. So I hope that you found those tips helpful and I'm super grateful for Nolan helping out on this shoot. Nolan, what's happening over on your YouTube channel? On my channel, I help beginner filmmakers tell their stories better. I love it. So if you wanna check out Nolan's content, click or tap the YouTube card, or of course we'll link to his channel in the description below. Question of the day, what are your tips for getting better photos and better videos when shooting outside? Definitely share those in the comments section below. And remember, some of the best tips and insights come from you, the Think Media community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comments section. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe and ring the bell if you're new here. And if you wanna check out other videos to help you shoot better video, click or tap the playlist right here. For another video from Think Media, click or tap the playlist right here. Until next time, this channel is all about bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.